Hello and welcome. In this video, I will talk about a scenario called consumption depreciation. Before I show this into system, I will talk about what is consumption depreciation. So consumption based consumption depreciation is based on the fixed asset value which will be depreciated based on its consumptions. So suppose we have a machine at that machine will the machine will be depreciated based on its running you know consumption or say suppose there is a car and that will be depreciated the value will be depreciated based on its running kilometers this depreciation is nothing to do with service life rather this depreciation is based on totally on the consumption and the consumption factor let's see how microsoft dynamics 65 finance and operation you know leverage this functionality or leverage this capability to meet this requirement so the first thing we need to do we need to go to fixed asset module and under this consumption depreciation the last option we will have two options consumption factors and consumption units we will talk about first about the consumption units consumption unit is what say suppose a uh, asset is running in some unit say suppose impressions or an asset can be running it in its unit called kilometers that is the unit we need to configure or set up this is a one time setup after that we need to configure the consumption factors so consumption factors can be configured by two way first one way is like we can create some milestone and this milestone is required for two 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 type of factors i can create multiple or you know till 10 years 12 years 15 years and it is not a asset specific this is a consumption factors configuration and this consumption factor like i mentioned can be created by two way one is percentage say suppose till 31st of may 2023 the asset will be depreciated or asset will use is 7.20 percentage of its value and till next month it will be used another 7.20 from the value so based on the factors based on the consumption that will be depreciated so we can create you know uh, multiple milestone like i have created till august 2024 this is one way of creating the consumption factor however if see this is a quantity this quantity means i will i will now show you the kilometers which you have created here say suppose one car will run 900 km per month so here the quantity counts the kilometer is a non conversion unit and the quantity will be 900 so that means 900 km is a milestone so consumption factor is nothing just a is just a milestone so i have created milestone till 31st of december 2023 but there is no limitation you can create multiple you know milestone as per your requirement now once it is done we need to go to depreciation profile this is another setup so depreciation profile also in dynamics we have option called consumption method so while we create a depreciation method we need to select the consumption this consumption method once we you know click select this consumption you will see unlike the other depreciation profile there is nothing other requirement so it's just the consumption we need to select from here and after that we will add this depreciation profile into book group as per the normal procedure so i have i have added this depreciation profile into one of the books here in this book and if i go to this fixed asset group this is buildings okay maybe i will show you another one which is i have created a you know book call car i will go to fixed asset group and that is comp so this now for now i have just created this group book combination i will select this group and i will create the fixed asset first i will create the fixed asset 
and I will select this group. I will say suppose give L4. I will go to books. Here you will notice there is no service life options because we have selected this depreciation as a car depreciation profile as a consumption depreciation profile and here you will notice there are two I mean comp, you know multiple options available which is not there in the standard depreciation pro, standard depreciation tab on the normal fixed asset so here we have consumption depreciation field group and in consumption factor I will say suppose give kilometers I will select the unit call kilometers the reason I am selecting I just you know telling the system that this fixed asset the unit is kilometer and consumption factor since I have created a consumption factor called kilometers with the milestone with quantity 900 per month and I can give any you know as per the requirement unit there quantity there here the most important part is unit depression price this means say suppose I have given option called 900 kilometers per month that means the per unit the per quantity will be charged based on this price so suppose I will give two that means if the car is running 900 kilometers or as per the milestone the value will be like 900 into 2 1800 for that month this estimated depression I will talk about this on later on when we talk about the another depression called impression with percentage so for now we will see this normal with quantity de consumption depreciation I have created this now what I will do I will just go ahead and make an acquisition of this asset I will not follow the purchase order process I will just select the acquisition journal but whatever you do uh, you know the way you select to acquire it will work like the same way so I have the fixed asset called L4 okay so suppose I will give um, 10,000 as a value I will post it I have posted it I will directly go from here to the fixed asset now I want to check the profile of the, how the depression getting calculated I will click on profile now we will notice till 31st of May the depression value is 1800 and till 31st of you know October the depression is calculated which is thousand and here until uh, you know, before the October month the value is 1800 per month the question is how this is calculating 1800 so if you remember the, the acquisition value is 10,000 and we have given an option in a consumption factor that this depreciation or this consumption factor will be a milestone with 900 kilometers per month that means system is taking this unit price unit depression price into two so that means 900 km per month and multiply by two 1800 value will be depreciated in each month it will depreciate till the time that network value become zero however the question will be what about the scrap value so if I add the scrap value here is thousand uh, you will notice the depreciation will be changed because system cannot depreciate the full dep you know asset value it will it will need to keep the thousand as a scrap value so if I now go to profile now I will notice on the October month nothing is left that means and if you see the net book value on the same month October it will show us thousand this thousand will not be depreciated as part of scrap value but till thousand every value will be depreciated based on its consumption factor billing milestone okay per month into multiply by its unit price which means 900 into 2 
eighteen hundred per month, it will calculate till nine thousand, and nine thousand will be completed on this month only. That means the whole depreciation, the the you know the value is depreciated based on its consumption factor. That is the basic idea about consumption factor depreciation. Now let's see what we have. Now we will run the depreciation in our system to show you another possibility. Say suppose you will have a question that what if my car or my machines or something like that runs more than that milling milestone or depreciation milestone? What will happen? Let's see. Now to run the consumption depreciation while we run the running the depreciation from the system. we have a option called proposal under that we have option called consumption depreciation here this form will open we will have a option called create consumption proposal i will give a date till june okay maybe i can select the filter uh with the fixed asset number we have created which is l4 okay and i will run this proposal let's see how it works i will click okay now you will see two lines have been created the 900 quantity it is coming from the milestone which you have created in consumption factor the value is 900 into multiply by unit depreciation price which is 2 the depreciation value is 1800 for this month and for the next month it is 1800 so i have run this for 2 months it is calculating 1800 per month however what if my car runs more than this per se quantity so i will i suppose give 1200 okay and for this month i will give maybe 1000 km now i will transfer this i will click on okay transfer means it is creating the journal you know lines now you will see the value will be increased to you know uh, the unit which we have mentioned multiply by 2 as a unit price which we have given in the fixed asset master so now here we have increased this consumption 2001 for one month and 2400 for another month i will post it now the question will be if i increase it what will happen in my next milestone how the rest of the money will be depreciated so the rest of the money will be depreciated based on the rest of the amount which is left to be depreciated the system will recalculate based on its left amount and it will adjust the depreciation profile so now you will see till the september it was calculating 100000 1800 per month but this month after we have you know posted more consumption it has readjusted adjusted the depreciation and it is completing in month of september with the 1000 value 1000 value why because to make the 1000 as net book value it has to calculate only 1000 not 1800 so that means if i summarize the consumption factor you know is like a milestone i can run it if we decide okay my car or my machine has only worked as per the milestone we will run the depreciation we will post it however if we think the consumption was more for that month we can increase it or if we think the consumption was not more we can decrease it it will still decrease the value and adjust the posting adjust the profile of the depreciation so this is one way of maintaining the consumption factor however we also talked about another way of maintaining the consumption factors which is by percentage so the percentage the concept is very similar however let's see what we have in the system so now i will create another fixed asset say i will select the same fixed asset group 
I will give a name called L6. I will go to books. So here we will select the consumption factor called impression. Previously we selected kilometers and unit also. Maybe we can select impression. Okay, and there in unit price, unit depression price, a similar way. What we have done kilometer, I mean quantity in the consumption factor multiply by the unit price. Here also we will give the price called say suppose thousand per percentage. And here the estimated consumption is the extra part, it is mandatory to calculate the depreciation for you know percentage wise consumption factor depreciation. So here this estimated consumption means suppose uh, this fixed asset having some milestone in the consumption factor. Uh, in the consumption factor which is impression percentage here we are mentioning that hey, suppose our asset is having you know running in each and every month but we expect that asset that asset will not be running you know full whatever we have given the say suppose 7.2% rather it will run only 80% of that milestone so if that is the case then it will only calculate you know uh, not not 7.2 percent only the 80 percent of that 7.2 percent that is what the estimated consumption here i will only give you 100 percent we are expecting that the asset will you know fully uh, consume or he'll, it will fully run whatever the percentage has give, has been given in the consumption factor i have i will just now go to fixed asset journal and I will acquire this fixed asset to show you how it's calculating okay and here I will select the fixed asset L6 see here I will give 100,000 I will post it is posted now I will I want to see the depreciation how it is getting calculated I will go to books and I will click on profile so now you will see the as I mentioned that the depreciation will be 7.2 percent and the one one percent is mean thousand so it is calculating 7.2 into 1000 it is 7200 per month it is getting calculated from this value and it is calculating till the time it is getting not getting the net value is zero because there is no scrap value that means the calculation also happening in the same way the way it was calculating for my car the difference is that here the consumption factor we have given as a percentage wise consumption factor now if i change this estimated consumption to say suppose 90 percent from the milestone so now i'm telling the system that whatever the milestone is in there in the consumption factor milestone it will only consume 90 percent of that milestone each month so i will go to profile so now you will notice the depreciation value will be changed the reason is it's not 7200 it's 80% of that 7.2% or other 77200 so it is now getting calculated till the August month and it is 5910 it was less previously it was 7200 but it is now so if I make a calculation here uh, say suppose it's you know uh, 7.2 it is 90% of that and if I equal to into 1000 it is 6480 if I go to the system it is exactly the same thing happening here so we in the billing miles in the in the consumption milestone we have given 7.2% but it is calculating 80% of the 7.2% and it is multiplying with the 
you need depletion price which is thousand. Okay. The similar way we can also change while running the depletion posting profile the percentage we can change and it will get, adjust the next depletion if it is higher or lower. If it is not changed then we can run we can just run the depreciation proposal consumption depreciation proposal it will work. So this is all about the consumption factor depreciation and it is something that not uh, everywhere it is followed but it is mostly followed in manufacturing industries where you know uh, the consumption factor comes into the picture so i hope you have learned something new today stay tuned for my next video thanks for watching bye for now